this video i will show you how you can add your shopify orders to notion automatically so whenever the order is placed by a customer in your shopify store the same order details will be added to notion automatically in this way you can keep a track record of all the orders that are being placed by your customers in your e-commerce store want to learn how you can also do that then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is my Shopify store where I will place a dummy order in front of you and you will notice how the details will be added automatically to Notion. And to automate this process, firstly, we will have to build a connection in Shopify and Notion application, which I am going to do with the help of software called as Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I am already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button. Button. and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I am providing the name something like add Shopify orders to notion automatically okay now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens and action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to choose the applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case we want that whenever any new order is placed from any customer in your e-commerce store then automatically add those orders to notion application okay so in this way i am selecting both the applications in this trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is first of all i will connect shopify with the pabli connect and will capture the order details here then i will connect pabli connect with the notion and will send the order details okay so in this way this automation is going to take place so let us first connect to shopify with the public connect so firstly i will select the trigger event that is new order so i want to perform the same that is whenever a new order is placed this automation should trigger for which it has provided me a webhook url and few set of instructions so follow these instructions carefully and then copy this webhook url go back to your store click on settings and then you will have to select notification from the left hand side and after that you will have to search for create webhook button which you will find at last okay so this is the button that is create webhook and here i am going to paste the same webhook url which i have just got from pabli connect and in the event i will select the same event related to order that is order payment okay format will be JSON and in the webhook API version you will have to select the latest version click on save and this is how webhook will be saved successfully that means the connection in Pabli connect and Shopify store is successful now in order to test this connection uh, it is saying log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission and record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means placing of a new order in your Shopify store and here you can also notice that it is already waiting for that webhook response okay so I am going to open my store and will place a dummy order in front of you with some dummy details basically as a dummy customer okay so how about I place an order for this herbal mask okay so clicking on this buy it now button and with with some random details i will place the order okay so give me a second let me provide the details one by one so i have provided a dummy email id as demo user 12 pub at publitudes.com the first name as demo the last name as user a random address the city is bangalore status karnatak and here is the pin code and here i have also provided a dummy phone number clicking on this continue to payment button and using the test card details i am going to complete this purchase okay so as a card number i will add the value one name on the card is going to be bogus gateway and here 
here i will add a random expiration date and the security code is going to be 111 okay clicking on the pay now button and as soon as the order placement is successful here you will notice the same order details will be captured via pably connect okay so coming back to the dashboard of pably connect and waiting for the response and here you can notice the response is already received okay so now i'll show you the details one by one okay so here we have the date of the order here we have the currency here we also have the amount of the product here we also have the product name which was mask it was actually herbal mask okay so give me a second i'll show you everything and we also have the details of the customers like the same dummy email address the name of the customer the address and the phone number as well okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our shopify store and pably connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time any customer will place a new order in your shopify store the details will be captured via pably connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i am going to add these order related data to my notion so firstly i will select the action even that is create database item okay so what will happen a new database item will be created and in that item the details will be added okay so clicking on connect clicking on add new connection clicking on this button and then you will have to provide the access of your notion application but because i am already logged in in a different app so instead of asking for the access it will ask me for the permission okay so firstly i will make sure that i i should provide the access of all the pages okay so here you can notice e-commerce store all orders i am about to add the orders in this specific page so i am providing the access clicking on allow button and this is how the authorization will be successful and my notion application will be immediately connected with the pably connect okay so fingers crossed waiting for this and here you can notice it is connected and because we are connected whatever the databases are already available in my notion application have started visible here okay so let me show you the same here in the drop down you can find the same well because we have a single uh, database item only single page only so that is why only a single database is visible here okay so i'll be selecting the same and as soon as i select the same you will notice whatever Whatever the columns I have added in this Notion database will start visible in Pably Connect. Okay, so currently I have added only four columns: that is product name, product price, the customer email, and customer name. Okay, so you can find the same column names here as the field that is customer name, customer email, customer. I'm sorry, product price and the product name, and this is just a random, a default field. Okay, so in this way, whatever the columns you will add. will be fetched here automatically okay and in this particular case i am collecting only four basic information now it is completely your choice that what information what order related data you would like to collect from here okay and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy this data and paste below again and again for every new order i am going to map this data okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so now i will search for the name of the person which was something like demo and now i'll give a space and will search for the last name of the person okay so basically i have mapped the customer name from the drop down okay and in the same way i am going to map other data okay but you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am providing here via mapping will be replaced automatically 
when our automation will work in real time and whatever the details i will provide here manually will remain same for every new order okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and in this way this automation is going to take place with the help of mapping okay so i am adding the product name which was herbal mask again telling you the details which i am mapping here will be replaced automatically okay so clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to be received okay so fingers crossed and here you can notice the response is already received going back to the notion and here you can notice the same product name the price the customer email and the customer name all the details have been updated here automatically okay so in this way whenever a new order is placed by any customer the details will be instantly and automatically added to notion for that you need to create this workflow this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside your public connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on that link and sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same two step workflow inside your own public connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video